I pack. Oh, that's where all the money. That's where that's all the money's at. That's, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Uh, hey, what's going on, Staff Sergeant? Hey, how you doing? How you hey, doing? Hey, good to see you, man. Thanks. What's up, man? What's up, man? How are you? Good, how hey, good to see you. Good. What's up, man? How are you? you got to find Bolden. Yeah, he's all good kids. They're young. Let's go find the T4 and Officer 5. Let's go find him. No, thank you. You know, I, I honestly, I, I had a unique position. Um, I, was, I was fortunate enough. I mean, I, the only difference in me and you is the opportunity that was put in front of me. None of you all have been put in a situation that, to needed some actions like that to get the Medal of Honor. That's truly the only difference. And if you don't believe that, then you need to get out of the Marine Corps. Uh, at any day that you think that you wouldn't do the same thing that I did uh, for another Marine or for the love of another human being, then you probably just need to go ahead and hang it up and do what's best for the whole institution and get on out. Because uh, that's not the type of people we need, you know, doing doing the nation's bidding. Don't ever think for one second that you're not going to end up in that situation. Don't ever think for one second you can't end up in the situation I was in. Because you could be there tomorrow. And if you don't live with that mindset, then like I said, you're part of the wrong club. You're part of the wrong club. And, and the unfortunate part is, is that when you don't live with that mindset, you'll probably be the one that survives. And you'll end up getting other people hurt. You know, I live with one fear. I honestly live with one fear in life. And it's that I won't be able to be what somebody needs me to be when they need me to be it. That's the one thing that pushes me every single day. And you guys got to do the same thing. You guys have to do it. You're carrying the torch. Your, your impact is, is, is critical. Everything you do is impacting somebody around you every single day. And so you have to, I know you earned the United States Marine Corps title back when you got out of boot camp, but the question you have to ask yourself is what did you do today to be a Marine? Did you earn being a Marine today? Did you earn it? What have you done today for the United States Marine Corps? What have you done today to earn the title United States Marine? Because you don't just get it one day, and in that one day you're just a Marine for the rest of your life. You know the people around you, right? You know the ones who aren't Marines, right? You know the ones who are showing up for the paycheck, right? Right, so what have you done today to earn the title United States Marine. And then what are you going to do tomorrow? And what are you going to do the next day? Same thing with leadership, right? Every day make yourself better. You might want to get out in four years, and that's fine. Get out. But while you're in, hey, be the best you. Be the best you and make people better around you. Earn that title every single day, United States Marine. Earn it every day. Any questions? Well, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't... So mentally, look, you're either a warrior or you're not. I don't think... Look, I... Let me go back in my theory here. I go back to our parents, our great, 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 great grandparents, right? They were either out gathering berries or they were out hunting saber-toothed tigers with, with sticks, right? So we're either hunters or gatherers. I, I have to believe that that's what already separates people to go and volunteer for the service and put others first because they are warriors automatically off the bat, right? That's what separates them to say, hey, look, I'm going to put my country first and raise my right hand. So I think I, I believe that the system works the way it does. And majority, 99% of the people inside, let's just say the Marine Corps, are, are warriors. So you already got it in you. So the mental is there, right? It's in your heart. But what are you doing to be prepared every day? What, I mean, it's more about physically. Are you physically there? I mean, if, I mean, let, let's just let's just talk about, let's just talk about the obvious. I mean, what if a, an active shooter came on and, and and they knocked down five or six people? Could you carry them out? You know, could could you put them over your shoulder and get somebody out? Could you throw somebody over your shoulder and get them out of here? All of them. Well, what are you doing to be better? Like, what are you doing every day? You're gonna get tested someday. Guaranteed. You don't know when the test is. And here's the thing, here's the scary part about it, right? You're going to get tested someday. Somebody's going to need you in their worst moment ever. Are you going to be a liability or are you going to be an asset? At that day, it's not time to get ready. And I'm not saying you've got to go around with this warrior mentality. I'm just saying every day make yourself better. Every day do something to better yourself. And put others first. Look, nothing I did as a sniper, and this is going to sound crazy, Nothing I did, I didn't go over there to hurt people. I, everything I did for this entire country was out of love. Was out of love. Was out of love of another human being. Was out of trying to make the world a better place. Any shot that I ever took, it was trying to make that place better by getting the bully, by getting, the, 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 by getting that out of there. Every time I passed out stuff to people, to kids, or rendered aid, it's because I cared about them. Everything we do, that is what we do. We do it to help human beings in their worst moments. 
So there's no mindset. It's about putting others before yourself. That's the mindset. You put others, you live a life of putting others before yourself, the rest of it clicks. I didn't know, I mean, I can't, I still can't believe that I got a Medal of Honor for doing what I did. I didn't know there was anything else you would do. You know what I mean? It's that simple. If you live it, you'll be ready at that time. And here's the crazy part is one day you'll all be tested. One day you'll all be tested. Quote me right now. And whether you succeed, it'll be everything you've done up to life to that point. And whether you succeed or fail is how the rest of your life will be defined by that one moment in time. It'll affect the rest of your life. And I know for a fact because I live it every single day with the four guys on my wrist knowing that I didn't bring my whole team home. I was tested. So you better be ready. Who knows what it'll be? You know what I mean? Just be prepared. And put others first. Put others first. That's the main thing. You already put your country first. So put others first. Don't get this me mentality. Put others first. It's that simple. It's not about, listen, anybody can shoot. Anybody can run. Anybody can do all that stuff. You can teach, teach anything to do that. But you can't teach somebody to care. You can't do it. You can't teach somebody to be selfless. There's no training for that.